Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Legend Commentaries here, and I am bringing you today my very first Guild Wars 2 post. And this is going to be all about the Guild Wars 2 basics, and that is, what the heck is Guild Wars 2, and why are there so many different instances? Uh, so I'm standing at kind of this main hub in the main city called Lion's Arch. And uh, if you go down here to Fort Mariner, it's kind of the, the hub to everything PvP and uh, everything in the world. So... Let me start out by saying that the area that you level in, the area with instances, the world, the actual physical world, is here. It's where I'm at right now. It has all of the instances here, all the dungeons, and all those zones where you level in. You can see here, tasks, skill points, point of interest, everything here. This is where you level. And then you can come to the main city, and uh, this is all one instance. So this, there's no instance areas here except the dungeons. It's all one continuous area. Of course, between zones you have to load, but... Uh, that's about it. Now, there are two other areas. One of them is World vs. World, uh, which I can show you here. There are different borderlands. Well, I'll show you when I get in there. So let's go to the Eternal Battlegrounds. Okay, so here we are in the uh, in the World vs. World Eternal Battlegrounds. Now, I'm going to go to my map and zoom out. This is an instance. This is a large zone. Okay, each one of these are kind of like different zones in the uh, actual world. Uh, you can travel to them via your world versus world menu or that portal area that I was showing you. And each server has a borderland. So they have these top forts and they try and take over their borderlands. Each server has that. Now there's the Eternal Battlegrounds, which is what I'm in right now. Now our server, Cyrus Furnace, is over here. We're battling to take this central keep and the surrounding area. And how the way the score works is, you can see up here, we have 10 minutes until the next score tally, where we will be gaining 155 points, the red server will be gaining 165, and the green server will be gaining 375. Those are all tallied up here in the total count. Uh, Sorrow's Furnace, we're behind, we're in last, but we're very close to Sanctum of Roll, and then Fort Aspenwood is leading by quite a bit. So, this is the way that World vs. World works, you get different bonuses, uh, for having a certain amount of points and you gain the experience there. It's kind of like leveling up in World vs. World with your points. Now, uh, we can go to any of the borderlands and we basically fight for keeps. This is one big area. Now, let's go back to Lion's Arch here. Excellent. So here we are. Uh, we are back in Lion's Arch. This is the main world. So we just came from World vs. World. As you can see, you can't see that anywhere over here. There's no World vs. World zone you can walk into. No, it's just... Uh, you know, we're just, we're just here. We're just existing in the regular world right now. And now we can go to the third and final kind of instanced zone, and that is the Heart of the Mists. Alright, now we are in the Heart of the Mists, and this is where you do structured PvP and tournament PvP, labeled in the game as SPvP and TPvP. So, when you get in here, as you can see, I have a whole new set of abilities. I also have... Uh, a whole new set of items. Okay, I have all my PvP, 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 uh, everything like that. Uh, they give you everything, and you can equip it. So, uh, what does this mean? What, what do I what do I do in here? Uh, well, you can use this for theory crafting. So, when you're level one, you can come to this zone, and you'll have all of your skills unlocked. That means I have every single skill available. Now, I, I would have these anyways, but at level one, I would have had every single skill, every single elite skill, anything I wanted and uh, also every weapon skill unlocked. So you can see here I, I would have I would have all these weapon skills open, uh, all the traits are available, you can have all 70 points of your traits as well. And you put these in, you can theory craft, so you can build whatever you want to build. Right now I'm trying out a tanky spec uh, with elixirs, which is probably what I'm going to stick with, and I'll make a video in the future with my SPVP build, but how it works is you come to this instanced area, you can buy your armor runes, so if you want to go for more, let's say, crit, you get crit damage and swiftness duration. So you buy all these runes and put them on your armor. The armor does not have any stats, which is really cool because all it allows you to do is select these runes and that gives you your stats. So you can literally build however you want. Any build is possible and all the runes and stuff are free. You can build any amulet with any rune you want for free and uh, any weapons. So it's really, really awesome. You can come in here and figure out how you want to build in your world versus world experience or in your regular world experience. 
I found that they're kind of different. You know, you have to try out a lot of different things in SPVP versus the regular uh, world versus world uh, or regular world. Uh, but it's a really awesome place to come and try stuff out. Now, the whole purpose of this zone is to do SPVP, and that is over here. Let me speed myself up. Uh, and that's over here at the PVP browser. So when you get into this zone, you can come over here. Once you get all your stuff set up, you can choose your items, choose your, uh, your traits and your skills. And then you can go here and you can get into a game. Now, it's kind of weird right now because there's not like a queue. You can just kind of pick a server. You can sort it by players. Uh, you can sort it by the map if you want to play a specific map. Or you can just press play now and get into a game. And I'll, I'll probably cast a, a game or two of me playing one uh, in the future. But for the first video, I wanted to give you guys a quick overlay of kind of what everything is about. I hope you've learned something about the game. It's very overwhelming. It's kind of confusing, especially if you've never played Guild Wars. So just for a quick recap, there's the World vs. World instance, there's your regular World instance, and then there is the Mists instance. You can also access World vs. World by this tab. Press B, press Go to World vs. World, you can go there by that way. Or to get into the Mists, you can go this way. Uh, leave the Mists or enter the Mists depending on what you want to do. So they made it very, very streamlined, very simple, very, very elegant. And uh, that's me. That's my, that's my little, oh, that's a man's penis. Uh, here I am. Here I am. Hello. I made my face so hideous. Oh, look at me. I'm beautiful. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that was a successful first Guild Wars 2 video. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Give me suggestions. I want more content, and I want to be able to bring it to you guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Love you, and I will talk to you next time.